Hey friends, a week and a half ago I set up some black widows in some nice shiny new cages with some various pretty things scattered around and I uh, kept it here at my house. This morning we got a happy surprise, so let's take a look at it. So this is the one I named Verthondi by the way and let me she nests up by the by the lid of the cage so I have to move things around a little bit all right there she is notice what she's got yeah she's laid a nice big ripe egg sack in there so this this does cause a little bit of a problem because uh i'm not equipped here at home to properly contain the spiderlings when they hatch out the, this lid is totally unsuitable for that because i'm pretty sure the spiderlings can fit right between those vents and uh, then i'd have a house full of ballooning black widows which would not make my wife very happy and would make it really hard for me to capture all of them because they'd just be going everywhere. So what I need to do this morning is take this spider and her egg sac to the lab. And I'm going to put her in a somewhat more sterile but more tightly contained container with no small holes for things to escape out of. And we'll keep her there. But this, this is kind of neat because I'm suddenly I'm thinking about what can I do with baby black widows besides take over the world. I've got some ideas for some experiments. So I'm going to go put this lid back on the cage and then I'm going to troop on over to the lab and uh, see what I can do about containing this, this little monster. Okay, here we are in the lab. I've set up another container. Uh, it's a little bit more bare bones than the other one. Now we have to get our Black Widow Mama out of here. There she is. So we're gonna do the transfer and hopefully not get her too angry. She's very thoroughly ensconced in a little nest made of silk in there. She is not gonna like this. Let's see if I can get this oriented so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna brush. I'm gently peeling away all that silk. And I tell you, boy, black widows make much denser webbing than the parasteatoda and steatoda I work with. Oh, maybe you can even hear it. It sounds a little bit like ve Velcro when it comes off. Okay, and there we go. Your new home. So as you can see, what I've done is, uh, this is some coconut fiber down here, just so it's not bare plastic. And this is a wooden frame made out of coffee stirrers. And I just put that in there so she, she has something to climb on. And there's our egg sack. Transfer completed. She looks a little unhappy. She's checking the place out. I wonder if she would appreciate it if we put in a mealworm. Will it stick? Yes, it will stick because... Oh, she, I can tell she's pissed off. But okay, there's a mealworm in the silk. She's all safe and sound. I should add onion. 
getting some distilled water. Just a little water to add to the whole container. So a little petri dish with some water in it. And there we go. She'll settle down eventually. Better go eat that mealworm before it eats your babies. And then they seal it up. Uh, this is not a worry because I will come in and check every few days, well, probably every day for a while, um, and open it up and get fresh air in there. And this is a large volume. Spiders have low metabolic activity, so they'll be fine. Okay. Let's put this over here, right next to, let's see if I can show you this. So I've got a little heating mat of the type you use for reptiles. And that's right next to the nice little cage for the tarantula. And while we're here, let's see if she wants to eat. She often does. She's had a bit of an appetite lately. She's also very skittish. Have to open that cage door slowly. You don't want to make the tarantula mad. And here's another mealworm. Oh yes. That was a hungry, hungry tarantula. Went right for it. Meanwhile, over in the Black Widow cage, you can see, well, oh, no, she's not doing anything now. I was thinking she was about to wrap up the mealworm. I'll give her time. Okay, that's it. We got a uh, happy, happy Black Widow and a happy Black Widow egg sac, I hope, that will hatch out and give me hundreds of little baby spiderlings and then i'm gonna to have to raise those up i got nothing better to do this summer anyway